I woke up this morning thinking not about my New Year's resolution, but about this question. Was Joe Biden in on the steal? Could it be that Joe Biden thinks he won fairly and squarely? I don't think so. The reason is kind of simple. Uh, if a guy wins a race fair and square and the other guy says that there was cheating, you didn't start on the same line and so on, the clock was faulty, the guy who wins has every interest in saying, wait a minute, let's go back to the videotape. Let's check out the clock. So Biden would be in the front screaming for the signature audits to be done, for the machines to be examined. Why? To confirm and validate his decisive victory. But he's doing none of that. A second possibility is that Joe Biden um, is too out of it to have been in on it that Joe Biden ultimately is too much in a daze. Think of, you know, the speech where Joe Biden was speaking and Joe Biden was wandering around like sort of some guy in a madhouse. And clearly there's an element of him that isn't all there. But on the other hand, we have to remember that Joe Biden is a confirmed and proven crook. His senility has never gotten in the way of his corruption. He's always figured out a way to be in on the take. And if it's not him directly doing the shakedown, it's the family. So for this reason, I believe that this is a sort of corrupt mafia boss, and there was no reason for the people who organized the heist, even if Joe Biden wasn't the organizer, to have brought the mafia boss in on it and so that he knew about it. Now, how do we know that he knew about it? At my wife Debbie's um, instigation, I went back and watched uh, Joe Biden's speech on election night. Now, remember on election night, Trump was leading in all the key and decisive states and leading by large numbers, 600,000 votes in Pennsylvania, for example. And yet, if you watch Joe Biden, you notice something very interesting. Watch. We knew this was going to go long, but who knew we we're going to go into maybe tomorrow morning, maybe even longer. But look, we feel good about where we are. We really do. I'm here to tell you tonight, we believe we're on track to win this election. Yes. We knew because of the unprecedented early vote and the mail-in vote, it was going to take a while. We're going to have to be patient until we, uh, the hard work of tallying the votes is finished. And it ain't over till every vote is counted, every ballot is counted. Now, doesn't Joe Biden seem eerily cocky on election night? Doesn't it seem like he kind of knows what's up? Anyone who is trailing in all these states is not going to say, hey, I got this figured out. We're going to win. We're going to win. No. You think he would be saying, we still see a pathway for us and so on. But Joe Biden's confidence here and of course, he appeals to the mail-in ballots. The mail-in ballots are coming in late. But the mail-in ballots were not delayed. The counting of the mail-in ballots was going on on Election Day itself because those ballots came in before Election Day. And so Joe Biden had no basis for automatically assuming that all those ballots were going to fall his way or that the late counting would somehow automatically put him on top. Yet he seems to know something that the rest of us didn't. And that something was that there was a major heist underway.